understand about this is that this didn't just happen this one time. The angel would come down at a certain season. It was a certain time allotted that the angel would come down and trouble this water. That's why everybody hung out there because they knew that by this time, this year, it's time for the angel. Come on, somebody. Right. And this might be my time of year for a get You know how we get excited around tax time? Well... That, that's some of our certain season, but God said, I'm going to break your past that. Because you're going to be blessed outside of the tax bracket, outside of the tax season. You're going to be blessed on purpose. I'm going to bless you going in and bless you coming out. I'm going to bless you in recession. I'm going to bless you when they're depressing. I'm going to bless you when everything is going wrong. I'm going to bless you. Preach, Apostle. Everybody going to try to find out how in the world you got blessed. In the middle of this, 38 years, the Bible says that this man sat at the pool. He laid at the pool. Matter of fact, he never even got up. He was one of the impotent people. He never even got up. Because he got so comfortable being right there. But God's going to break us out of some comfortable places. Some of us are so content right where we are. I'm not satisfied. I'm aggravated being in a place that's too small for me. I'm aggravated when my vision is bigger than my reality. I'm aggravated when God promised me money and I'm straight to the I'm not comfortable. I got you. A certain man was there at a certain time. The Bible says it was there and he had an infirmity 30 and 8 years. And when Jesus saw him lie, that tells me he was laying there. So if he came right now, what state, what posture would he find you in? He knew that he had been there for a long time in that case. In that case, you can be productive in every other area of your life and still have one case that you can't get up out of. Come on, somebody. There's some areas in your life that you are so fruitful in, but in the other places you're married in. He saw him in that case. That's real good. There's nothing wrong with him talking. He probably was quoting scriptures and witnessing, but he could not get up. He found him lying there. We can talk and prophesy, but it's like that we live it. We can prophesy and tell somebody else to be encouraged, but can we stand being discouraged? What do you do in some cases like this? I know I'm talking right. Yes, you are. I've been here before. I can preach to you, but I have to go home and try to make myself believe the scripture. But when you start going through, when you find yourself empty, when you find yourself bound, when you find yourself hot, when you find yourself willing, you ain't gonna help anybody and take it of yourself in this case. In this, in this, that, that, that's, that's the truth. That in that case, it's the scripture says. That tells me that Jesus had a few cases on him. That's it. It wasn't just one charge against him. Some of us got multiple charges against us. But he's want to deal with this case. He want to deal with you about this situation. He want to deal with you about this dilemma. In that case. Well, all right, then, he said unto him. Now here is where it gets real good at. Because he's laying there in the same spot where he had been for 38 